getting used to it. Um, I met Ast, there's so much memeing to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cheating on Duelist. Oh, no. Duelist is a game I cheated on Hearthstone with, more like. Um, I Let's replace that, because I, I need this. I... Thanks, Dak. Uh, EMP is so clunky on the play. Sure. Um, yeah, I've, I've never really, like, not... I don't tend to dedicate myself to one game. I have, like, Magic and Duelist and Hearthstone and, I guess now Eternal, and Overwatch that I care about in varying amounts, and it changes over time as well. Hearthstone's pretty terrible at the moment. Um, it's not amazing, but I happen to have... So I play... I play Priest in Hearthstone. It's, like, the only class I play nowadays because, as um, Ramses mentioned, the game is quite expensive and you need legendaries just like ardently need legendaries in order to make decks that do anything and it takes forever to get them so uh i basically only play priest now priest is my favorite class by a mile so i just play that in arena um and i i like like stupid big priest decks with you know like maximum amount of greed ridiculous combos and um you know these kind of grindy mid-range control decks that have loads of eight drops in you know uh and you just you end the game with like a massive board and 10 cards in hand and your opponent's completely out of stuff and it's hilarious but that deck happens to be quite good against um the current meta there's not actually any point in blocking off one of these monotiles my opponent will just take the other one so I'm going to leave this in the middle, which gives me the most responsiveness, depending on which direction she moves in. Um, yeah, so that deck happens to be quite good against what was what's currently popular. I don't know how things will change after the t the patch today, but it beats Druid, and Druid was popular, and so I, I you know I'm like rank 15. I don't care. Um, so I can just sit there and play eight drops against Druid all day and have a great time. Um, I was playing Magic today. I missed the replace so much. I always miss the replace when I move to other games. And you can tell like how much Duelist I've been playing vis-a-vis -vis other things based on when in my turn I replace. Like if I'm playing more Duelist, I replace first more because I just remember that it's there. Um, our disguised toast is really good. I like his videos a lot. Big Priest and Highlander Priest are both valid at the moment. Um, yeah, my deck is kind of like greedier than both it's not the it's not big priest in the the barn sense it's big in that it's like um long game late um late game stuff my hand doesn't really do much here does it so we've, we've learned that we can't dispel grasp of agony although i can dispel the shadow creep which might actually be useful but i can just move off it for the same effect I could saber spine my opponent in the face. That seems useless. Um, oh, that'll do. We'll just go as a herald, as a lion, and attack face with everything. Roll this. Pop it over here. Maybe here. Oh, here's fine. Face. Healing. I'll put the lion somewhere she can't hit it. Go. Um, I've been playing an alabaster deck in Gauntlet. That is hilarious. Did you first pick it or something? Or did it just come up and you're like, oh wow, I don't actually happen to have any spells in my deck. That is disgusting. Three zero so far. Only played him in two games. I mean, two out of three ain't bad, right? In the words of the fabled priest meatloaf. Two titans in gauntlet. That's disgusting. Uh, oh, this guy. I guess we can save us by that and hope she doesn't get anything good off it. Or I can... No, I can't run away and play Solaris. Sadly. I mean, a curve of this into Solaris into Alabaster Titan seems pretty good here. It's just a bit awkward if this manufactures something decently large. 
think I'm doing it though. I'll save this for killing uh, targets that this wouldn't be able to hit. Sweet. Um, so I'm going to leave the lion here because if my if my opponent wants to hit it, I want her to have to walk further into the corner and be near this, which sets up a bit better for Titan. The Titan's not coming down for two turns, but forcing her to like tuck herself into the corner is valuable. Man, it takes forever. It almost feels like it takes forever to get to high mana on uh, when you're going first. It's ridiculous. Single spell, which is a pain in the ass throughout the run, even though it was a holy immolation. Holy immo and two alabasters. That is so sick. <laughs> I actually picked like six things that want spells and thought they kind of looked like Titan cards. So I thought YOLO and prayed for Titan and it came on the 27th pick. That is incredible. <laughs> That's so good. So the only Sentinel I've seen people play is the minion one, which is a bit awkward because my deck is obviously entirely minions. I don't really want to give my opponent a Solarius, but I also don't want to play off curve. I guess if it's the spell one, my roar can trigger it. I could play the Azza Herald. Um, so I can come over here, punch this. I can clear the two ray things with the Azurite Lion. Uh, and then defend it with my body and the Azza Herald. It dies to Sphere of Darkness, but she's used two of them already. So that means I'm replacing this, which seems like a reasonable thing to do anyway. That's not much of a turn. It might be better than giving my opponent a Solarius, though. I do actually get to kill stuff this way. Have an Azza Herald. I guess this still lets my opponent heal, which is a bit annoying. Uh... Your mic is making annoying noises when you move. Oh, I'm sorry. It might be me moving the mic, to be fair, or adjusting it. Um... It is quite a sensitive mic. So it might just be background noise. I think Katie's in the kitchen at the moment. I was actually, over the weekend, um, I hosted a LAN party for my, it's like a late birthday party, basically. And we had some, um, at one point, I had some people remote in, and we put Skype on the TV in the corner and set up the mic next to it, and they could hear us really well from across the room. I mean, my flat's not very big, but like, oh wow, sweet. I always appreciate good use of Void Steel. <laughs> right. Now, we tighten. Oh god. I mean, as Deathfire Crescendos go, that's not that bad. I take six. Oh wow. So, this has celerity, meaning I can get real fancy. The only awkward thing is the creep tiles. I guess I can move over here. So we play the titan here. Move this, attack this, attack this, move this, attack. Clear everything. Wait, that doesn't quite work because my... I have to sequence it differently. Because this will die. I could have gone horribly wrong. I'd mess that up. And then I guess... So I can either keep this as a buffed unit or just use it to clear out a wraith thing, which is probably better. Um, that's not 
that useful compared to actually to be fair this is quite useful wait it's going to heal if you do it in that order <laughs> thank you for pointing that out i did spot it but thank you um I don't know when I don't know when you said that, but I appreciate the uh, appreciate the save. Man, this card is good. Another thing I've seen happen again, working through gold. But um, another thing I've seen happen with this is people try and use chromatic cold to kill minions with force field on, um, and then getting kind of confused that it doesn't work. No. I she can't recast it, so I don't lose any artifact charges. So that's not too bad. Are you going to take the fall? Yeah, she is. So I'm going to save this on the off chance she leaves Desolator in play, I think. So I can just play a Solarius and buff it. I guess I'll replace this on the off chance I hit a 2-drop. Sweet. It's not even that good, is it? And it's still a 3-4 force field. There's nothing to sniff at. Yeah. I'm going to play this aggressively because I get the value out of it anyway. Uh, oh, there's no point in sequencing around my heal because I have an Arclight Regalia on. Go. Ooh, Saber Swine. Saber Swine, good. I like how you can see that the Azure Herald is doing this even in like a tiny six pixels across hand. Some of the art in this game is so incredibly detailed. sort of pixel art impressionism it's really nice hmm this is awkward unless that last card in her hand is darkfire sacrifice though oh my I mean that doesn't do anything. It just dies to force field minions. Is there some way I can lethal my opponent? If I sunset Paragon here, that just straight up does it, doesn't it? We Paragon attack, move, move, attack this. Roar this, Saber Spine Tiger. I think that's exactly lethal. Oh, it doesn't even need to be that complicated. I've got the Regalia on, haven't I? <laughs> Overcomplicated plays. There we go. <clears throat> Good old Sunset Paragon. 